Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3 video. In this one, we're trying Nightingale, which is an early access game right now. Uh, so, this game is very demanding, uh, like um, on high setting and 1080p, uh, like high. This game does not have low, mid, or high. This has like performance, balanced quality, ultra quality. So, this is like the high, low, mid, high, and this is ultra so and this lumen gi is like the rtx if you turn this on uh, your reflections will be set on like rtx method like there you can see if if, if it was like a uh, screen space reflection the reflection in the water would have gone uh, but it's not uh, getting off the screen it's still there so yeah the lumen is like the rtx so it is very demanding on graphics if i like disable the lumen you can't really disable it you can just set it to performance or balance if i like just set it on balance and it will take a little bit time to adapt to it and there and now you can see that the reflection is gone so yeah that was like the rtx of the game so everything was on high and rtx is like on medium not rtx uh, the reflection is on medium with the screen space i'm getting around 50 to 60 70 80 yeah. and sometimes reaching 80 fps depending on the mm, textures and scenarios this is very dark in here i don't know if you guys can see it clearly uh, so yeah anyway let's begin the mod uh, so first i'm gonna quit to desktop the process is little bit different uh, listen to me carefully while i tell you guys uh, also look at this cool wallpaper like four zombies uh, playing with a ball uh, okay anyway um, so first download this zip light angle night angle fsr3 stable uh, extract it to the desktop and after that you will need to verify uh, wait you will need to verify uh, one thing which is if you go to the installation directory of night angle after that go to nwx binaries win64 this game seems to have the win mdll already uh, inside of the game so if you already have the win mdll you need to paste the rest of this file without the win mdll so you don't need to replace the win mdll because as you can see this is 512 uh, kb and this one is 330 kb and these two are different this is fsr win dlm and this is the games in built win mdll so you don't need to paste this one just select the rest of these three and drag them to the directory and one extra thing that if you crash you after pasting these files you will need to download this version 64 and after that open the zip and just drag this version dot dll here but only do that if you are crashing if you are not crashing then don't copy this file okay so after this is done md users need to con uh, tweak that uh, config file uh, once again uh, so yeah first uh, double click on the uh, game shortcut the game won't run from here you need to run from the desktop shortcut so run the game from here and when the box appears instantly close the box and you will see the fsr to fsr3 config there now we go back to the folder and the config has appeared here so edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus whichever you want Mm, just change the fake nvidia gpu to true click on file click on save and run the game again i'll speed up the video okay so i'm back in the game and most of you can already tell that ps is like has boosted uh, but still we're gonna go to the video scroll down and we can see that that the dlss frame generation has come online so we're gonna take that it's already like take you can just untake it after testing the mod okay that's good and i'm back in the game and as you can see the mod has boosted frame rate to around 110 120 depending on scenarios it's now reaching like 70s because this area is very heavy like if i go back to the area where i come from it will get like 120 wait i'll show you so yeah there uh, from the area this is the area from where i have 
started from the beginning when I started this video so there you can see in this area we are getting around 120 to 100 and yeah, 110 to 120 mm, so the area in the front is very intensive that's why it's getting low FPS Uh, also do not switch the frame generation off uh, um, turn this on from the main menu and do not turn this off because if you turn this off your hood will be stuck to the game's UI uh, the UI will be stuck to the game so the, don't turn that off just play with enable no need to turn this off so yeah this will be it I'll uh, see you guys in the next one if this video helps you do subscribe and yeah cheers